Hi everybody, it's Jen here. And I wanted to do a little video on how we can start to just move some energy in our body in a very relaxing way. This is great to do at the end of the day in the evening as a way to counter all of the contracted work that we did um, during the day. A lot of us are at a computer a long time. A lot of us are sitting behind the car for a while. So this is a way for us to just open up the chest and to ground and, and anchor in our root energy. So first thing that I like to do is to um, come into a child's pose, which is just, so you just need a mat. And ideally if you have a bolster, if you don't have a bolster, you can use a pillow or you can use a foam roller, whatever works for you, whatever you have available. But first we're going to come into a child's pose where, I don't know if you can see my, my knees are about hip width apart, maybe a little bit wider. And I'm sitting and I'm pushing back into my, my ankles and I'm sitting back on my feet and I'm gonna reach my hands as far forward as I can, dropping my head and taking some full deep breaths right here. And just really feel your chest move towards the ground, your arms reach out, feel your spine growing nice and long. And just breathe. I like to shift a little bit and just kind of move and feel my body, connect to your body and, and feel the areas of tension, the little like twinges, like right now I move like this and I can feel the little twinges in my lower back. I can feel my hips just start to open I can feel my shoulders start to release. So just tune into your body with your breath, taking nice, slow, deep breaths, and then just slow down that motion and drop into it for just a moment. Breathing here and feeling that nice stretch, dropping your shoulders away from your ears, dropping your chest to the floor, drop pushing into the floor to push your hips back. And just breathe here for three full breaths. Try not to hold your breath. A lot of us tend to hold our breath, which is a way to really block energy from flowing. Breath is prana energy. So pranayama is the, the breath, the energy of the breath. So while we're here, both hands I want in front of, your left hands in front of your left shoulder, your right hands in front of your right shoulder. And I just want you to bring your left hand, inhale, bring your left hand on top of the right hand and drop into your left hip. So you feel that stretch all along your side body. Now, if this is too much for your, for your shoulders, that's okay, just bend your elbows. So release some of that tension and bend your elbows. If this is too much too, then just bring your elbows a little closer to your body. The key is to really just get that stretch where you're elongating that spine over to the right side of your mat while you're anchoring that left hip. And again, just breathe for three nice full breaths right here. And the next inhalation, just bring that left hand back in front of the left shoulder and then just walk that right hand on top or over to that left side. Sit into that left, that right hip and just breathe. Again, letting that right hip be your anchor as you stretch and reach with your left and right arm. Breathing here for four nice slow deep breaths. And just feel that whole side body just start to release. Notice the tension. Notice if you're bringing your shoulder blades up to your ears. Relax those shoulders, drop everything. Nice job, bring it forward. And then just come into a nice tabletop right here. I'm gonna turn sideways. Coming into a nice tabletop, I just want you to take some deep breaths in. So my, my uh, knees are about hip width apart. And I'm going to take a nice deep breath in as I, as I arch up and I'm lifting my chest, I'm opening my heart, I'm tilting my pelvis so I can feel that stretch in my belly. And now on the exhale, I'm going to tuck everything nice and tight underneath. So this is called cat-cow. 
So just squeeze and then you're going to inhale and open. Arching up, exhale and contract. Chuck your chin to your chest, tuck your hips, arching up. Inhale, bringing it up. Exhale, release. Maybe open that throat with a little exhale where you can hear it. Inhale, and then I'm going to do kind of, I call it my Darth Vader breath, where I go on the exhale. Ready? Open that throat. Let's do three more of these. Inhale up. And exhale, contract. Inhale, release. Again, I'm dropping those shoulder blades. I'm letting the space open in my shoulders. And exhale, contract and tuck under. Inhale, come up one more time. Now this time we're gonna tuck the tailbone or we're gonna tuck the toes under and we're gonna lift up into a downward facing dog. Just feel that stretch from your calf muscles all the way up. Just drop that chest, drop the shoulder blades away from your ears. Again, this is great to get the energy flowing to the brain, to anchor the energy. And we're gonna take a deep inhale up and come up on those toes and exhale and drop those heels as far as you can. If you need to bend your knees a little bit, that's okay. Again, inhale all the way up and exhale, drop those heels. Now we're just gonna come back down. Now, one of the things that I love and hate, my hips get really, really tight. So what I like to do is I like to do a little gentle twist, which I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna do it from the side, I believe. I don't know if you can see me, I think you can. I'm gonna do it from the side. So I'm gonna come onto my back, right here. I'm gonna come onto my back and I'm gonna do what you call a figure four. So I'm gonna take this leg and I'm gonna cross it over my knee. So I'm gonna come forward so you can see me here. Okay, I'm gonna cross it over. Now, as I'm crossing this over, if it's there for you, you can, you can lift that leg, that bottom leg. Now I want you to really feel like you're squaring off. So your left knee should be over that left hip. Okay, and you're gonna reach it through and I'm gonna grab my thigh. Now, if this is too much for you, you can grab a towel, you can grab a strap and you can hold it that way where your head can be on the ground. But you're just gonna breathe here and feel that hip open and you feel that hip release. This is for the root chakra. This is to ground us in. This is for the root and the shake or chakra, just opening up our first and second chakras in our body. This is where a lot of us women store a lot of our attention too. And we're just gonna breathe right here for just a moment. If you want, you can inhale and pull towards you and then exhale, you release. Now this is a counter push-pull. So I'm pulling my left knee in towards my chest as I'm pushing my right knee away from my body. So I can really feel that here. Great. Now, I'm gonna turn towards you, stay here. We're gonna drop, I'm gonna put my arms out like a T and we're gonna drop everything over to the left side. So my right foot is on top of the ground, okay? This is a deep hip stretch. If this is too much for you, just go as far as you can. Maybe you put like a, a pillow or something underneath your foot. Just go to the point where you can feel that stretch deep in your hip. And any kind of, anytime you do a twist, it really is cleansing your solar plexus, which is where all of your digestive organs are. This is like your kidney, your liver, your gallbladder, your stomach, your intestines. This is giving all of those organs a little massage and helping the flow here. But the key is to really relax into it, breathe. Notice where are the areas of tension. For example, right now my right shoulder, I can feel that right shoulder. So I might need to back off a little bit. So maybe I'm gonna bring this bolster a little close to me so I don't feel that pain or that tugging in my shoulder. Another thing to note is knowing what's a good pain and what is a, bad pain, right? 
A good pain, it's not so much a pain. It's noticing, oh, okay, I can feel that. That's your soft edge. When you go beyond that soft edge to something being painful and like, okay, something's not right here, you need to know that that's your body telling you to back off a little bit. Okay, so now, that doesn't mean if something's a little uncomfortable. Sometimes when things, we notice something, we get a little uncomfortable, we tense up. And that's when we start to resist. So I invite you to just breathe into it and see if by noticing, oh, okay, that's uncomfortable, if you can breathe into it and let that discomfort ease a little bit. Notice that, what does it feel like? What are the thoughts that pop up into your head? Can you control those thoughts? Can you reframe those thoughts? And tell yourself that you are nourishing and nurturing your body. You're connecting your mind and your body right now along with your spirit. Okay, nice deep breath in and you're gonna bring it together and you're just gonna drop those legs all nice and long. Just give yourself a little shake, okay? Now we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna do it on the, we're gonna bring up the right knee, we're gonna lift up the left leg, and we're gonna cross over. Again, I'm gonna reach through and I'm gonna grab figure four. Breathing here, I'm feeling that nice deep stretch in my hip, I'm pulling towards my chest with the right leg, and I'm pushing that left knee away from my body. Again, notice any resistance you're having, notice if you're, if you're at your soft edge, which is that stretch, like, oh yeah, I feel that, but it feels good, it's stretching, versus the, oh my God, I feel like my hip is about to snap. That's your hard edge, that's not good. You don't wanna to get to that point. So back off a little bit, use a strap, notice any of the resistance that's in your mind. Connect to that, breathe through it, and tell yourself that you're okay that this might be a little challenging, but you've got this. And tell yourself it's okay to back off, that by doing that, you're honoring your body and the messages of your body in this moment. All right, one more nice deep, big breath. And then we're gonna exhale, we're gonna drop to the right side now. And you're gonna plant that right, oh, sorry, the left foot on the ground and you're gonna just hold this. Again, I'm trying to keep both of my shoulders on the ground right here. It is a deep and intense stretch into that right hip. But right now, and as I said, any of the twists, we're getting the kidneys, the, um, your spleen is on this side, your pancreas is on this side, just all of this nice stretch and the little squeeze helps to get the energy flowing and moving in those areas. So this is all lower chakra. By keeping our shoulder blades on the ground, we're keeping that chest opening. Just breathing here. Three more nice, full, deep breaths. Feel that tension in the hip and just notice it. Again, what's in there? What are we storing in there? Try to soften in. Notice when we tense up and just breathe into it. And with purpose, intention, intentional relaxation. Nice job. Okay, opening up. And again, you can straighten those legs and just shake it out. Awesome. Okay, my final stretch. We're grabbing a bolster. If again, if you don't have a bolster, you can grab a, a foam roller or if you have some pillows, you can fold the pillow in half. What you want is you wanna line it up along your spine. Again, I'll show this to you sideways. You're gonna line this up along your spine. You're going to, okay. I'm gonna lay on top and I'm gonna put my tailbone on the back. My head's going to come so it's gently, the curve of my neck 
is gonna just hang right there. So my neck is supported, I'm not hyperextending. Okay, so now take a nice deep breath in and I want you to feel those shoulder blades drop and hug that bolster or the, the um, foam roller and just drop and lower the shoulder blades. Notice if your shoulders are up by your ears and just relax them and feel your shoulder blades just hug the bolster. Take a deep breath in and then on the exhale, I want you to just open your arms nice and wide and just allow, hopefully you can feel that stretch from your chest, your shoulder, all the way down. I can feel the stretch all the way to my elbows. This feels great. This is an awesome counter stretch for all of the contracted, shoulder rolled forward, hunched over the desk or whatever it is that we're doing. It's a great way for us to just open and release and this is a great heart opening. So I want you to just lay here and feel your chest muscles stretch and really with intention, squeeze and hug the bolster with your shoulder blades. That scapula, just allow that to drop and feel that hugging of the shoulder blades right there and breathe. Now I want you to picture on the next inhale, this beautiful light coming from the crown of your body and just filling up your heart. Whatever color you wanna put in that light, whatever color comes to mind, just breathe that in and feel the warmth just illuminate your heart. All right. Breathing here. Now think about three things that you are grateful for in this moment today. Three things. And let that gratitude just fill up that heart, open your heart. Now this might be the tricky one, but think of three things you really like and appreciate about yourself. And breathe and feel that, just warm your heart. Now, if it's there for you and you think of something or someone you're having some conflict with, if it feels appropriate, I want you to just bring that person, the situation to your mind's eye and breathe and then just say to yourself, just like me, this person is just trying to figure out where they belong in the world. And breathe, exhale, just like me. This person is struggling with some fear and some worry. And breathe. And just like me, this person is working to love, my, love themselves even if sometimes it comes off as the person loving themselves a little too much. Oftentimes those are the people that don't love themselves enough. And then I want you to just send that person love, send that person compassion. Just say, I see you. You might be having some conflict. I might not always understand you. but I'm gonna to try to open my heart more and see you with more love and less judgment. Just feel how that feels in your body. And then finally, how can you love yourself more? 
How can you be more compassionate to yourself? I want you to just think of one, maybe two way, things that you can do today, right now, to start to be more compassionate and kind to yourself. Now we're gonna call on the angels to help us. Archangel Michael to help us feel safe and grounded, protected. Archangel Gabriel to help us hear the messages. Archangel Raphael to help us heal the wounds and the imbalances in our body. Archangel Ariel to help us find our courage manifest our heart's desire and Archangel Haniel to help us heal our inner child, heal the belief systems and protect our loved ones energetically. And then just bring your arms up, inhale all the way up. And then I want you to just scoop in. I want you to almost like gather up all the energy coming from above and just pull that into your heart. Place your hands to your heart. And let yourself feel the, all the love that's out there for you. Feel the love that is waiting in the universe for us to shift open our hearts, shift away from fear and judgment and into love and trust and compassion and kindness. When it's there for you, just slowly roll off. Come to a seated position. Thanks for being here and taking this journey with me today. I wish you well. This is an evening ritual, the end of the day to just open your hearts, anchor your, your root chakra, anchor your energy, balance your energy, and move energy in your body. This is great for kids, great to do as a family, but this is some self-care for you to start or end your day. Be well, everyone.